And yeah, it's a tough market really across the board. Yeah, it is uh, very tough. And, and that's the problem because Agricultural Bank uh, set its price range before shares of its rivals started to slide. Let's take a look at price to book ratios of Agricultural Bank, its bigger rival ICBC, and also Bank of China. Uh, green line here is the price to book ratio of ICBC. Yellow line is Bank of China. And this is the price range set by Agricultural Bank. As you can see, it's roughly the same as BOC, a discount to ICBC. But that discount has narrowed. At June 24th, when the price range was set, the discount was 10.5%. Today, it's nearly half that at 5.3%. So you're not getting as much of a discount against ICBC as you uh, thought you might uh, get. As uh, compared to Bank of China, when uh, Agricultural Bank priced on June 24th, uh, you, uh, it was charging at the top end of its range a 1.1% premium to Bank of China. Well, now, if it prices at the top range, you're going to get 4.5% premium. Now, uh, what happens uh, this week, Susan, is that on Wednesday, Agricultural Bank uh, should set its price. Uh, if it sets at the top of the price range, it'll raise 20.1 billion US dollars in its IPO. But of course, it has an over allotment option, another 15% that it could uh, sell. That would take it to 23.1 billion dollars, and that would beat out the 21.9 billion dollar record set by ICBC back in 2006. But all depends on top of the price range and over allotment. Yeah, now, Paul, ABC, Agri Bank isn't the only one selling shares among China's big state lenders. Uh, you know, they're all trying to raise cash right now to replenish the capital lost during the lending boom. Yeah, and this is another concern because these banks are coming out and saying they've got to raise their capital and they're raising 30 to $40 billion over uh, the next uh, few months. So that's all going to dilute uh, investor appetite as well.